What the Reg is up, fam? If you're new here, I'm Terri Ann. I'm Mike. That's my fiance, and this is our channel. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button. It lets us know that you enjoy what we're putting up on this channel. And if you haven't already, go ahead and follow my Instagram account. It's Terry Ann Melissa. And Mike's Instagram account, it's Nice Little Treat, where he shares his recipes and his cocktails. We're just getting started. It's just getting started. You're on the ground floor if you get in right now. <laughs> early days <laughs> it's, it's on that. Early days, yeah. This is our beautiful new mirror that we won in an Instagram contest. Damn! It's huge. It's my whole body. Mike's six sure. feet. Yes. So we won it in an Instagram contest and uh, nothing has ever made me happier. I'm, I'm almost positive with that. We're just gonna take you on some of our errands and I think this is gonna be part of the BMW oh, uh, cool. vlog as well. So if you watched the last video, Mike and I test drove a Volvo XC90 mm -hmm. and tomorrow we're gonna be test driving the BMW X5. Right. Yeah, there it is. Yeah? Yep. Okay. The BMW X5, and um, I guess maybe like next weekend we'll test drive an Audi. But basically, we are mm. trying to find a new car. We're yeah. looking for a family car. Um, I got I sold my car on Carvana. Super a, easy. A, like a month or two months ago now, probably. Yeah. I haven't had a car for a while, and it has been fantastic. Let me tell you something. It is great to not have to pay for. Uh, a parking spot, have to pay for your well, car insurance. Well, that's why we got rid of his car, because he yeah. had payments on his car, he, yep. and then we had we were paying for two parking spots, because I have my car. My car is paid off. It was a gift from my dad for yeah. like graduating from college, so it just made sense to get rid of his car. But today, we are doing other things. Today, yep. we are going to Salvation Army. Salvation Army, running errands, picking up laundry, picking yes. up... Um, we're gonna do a Starbucks trip. We have to, do we have to get a package. Trip. Yeah, we, there are a bunch of things that we're gonna do. Little thing. Basically. Hey guys, so we're in the car. We picked up the package that I was talking about, and we're in the Starbucks parking lot. Mike just put our order in. I went ahead and opened the package. I thought I'd show you what I got. So I ordered these curtain rings from Amazon. So I ordered a gold curtain rod, which I'll show you guys. And then I got these cool rings that just like uh, like slide through the curtain rod that way and these clip to the curtain. So this opens up and it clips to the curtain. I think it's gonna be super cute. So that's the package. Um, hey guys, so we, what did we do? Oh, we ate Starbucks and we went to, oh, let me do this. Went to Salvation we Army. We went to Salvation Army. That so was, depressing. It was really sad. It was very, <laughs> It was truly very sad. Um, so I guess they're just not getting like not even half the amount of donations they used to. It is like a war zone in there. Like it is picked apart. There's literally nothing there. It's super sad. So we didn't get anything there. There was literally nothing good. Um, there were like two pieces of furniture that I liked, but it just it wasn't like mm -hmm. we had to get it. Um, so. Now we are in the Home Depot parking lot and we're gonna go get the spackle and what else do we need from Home Depot, babe? That's it. Is that actually it? We're only here for you. I have no clue what else we need at Home and, Depot. But like in general, like for the apartment, is oh. there anything mm -hmm. that we need from Home Depot? I don't think so. Okay, um, I think there might be, so I'll think about it. All right, we'll see you guys in soon. Okay, so we got the spackling. Michael has it. He's looking for drop sheets so I don't make a mess on the floors. And I got, I also got the thing to spackle the actual canvas. And we're gonna paint the canvas white as well. So I got a little roller. Um, so yeah, I think we're doing it. This is perfect. This is the one I saw on, I think, YouTube or Instagram where it goes on pink and it dries white. So. You get this one, I guess. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I make a mess all yeah, the time. Are... Yeah, we barely have room for the one that we have, though. Oh, I know. I could never get another one. It's just like. I wish I had gotten one like that instead, but. Wait, again, right off the bat? We would have never had room for it because the other one sucks and I don't have any use. It's too small for the stairs we have. Yeah, that sucks. I didn't even think about that as like a thing. I didn't think so either. I just started to be able to make it up. I didn't realize how big the lift was on our stairs. Yeah. So you can't get you up can't without having it. huge wheels. Yeah. And that thing has small wheels. So like, it'll be nice at some point in our lives. Yeah. 
and we are back. Let me just sit down here real quick. So we are back. We finished our errands, and um, yeah, I think I'm gonna just set everything up and try to start that spackling um, project that I want to do. I'm kind of excited about it, so I'm gonna show you guys the painting that I'm thinking of. So this is the painting. It's really big, so it's gonna be a nice statement piece. Um, but it's like super colorful, you know? It's, it's just a bit too colorful. So I think I'm just going to, I'm gonna spackle the actual painting part. I'm still trying to decide if I'm gonna change the frame color at all, but it's kind of just been sitting in the corner. And now what I'm gonna do is paint the canvas white using some of the sample paint that we got for the walls. Um, this one is a color we didn't choose, but it's white enough to do the job. It just needs to have a nice white base. Oh, are you gonna put it down? Can you put it down for me, actually? Yes. I forgot to put down the the sheet thing, so that's Literally smart because I, we because I make a mess. So. This is you. This is anyone who would do this would make a gigantic mess. Impossible. Also me though. Like I, I tend to just like. So now it's painted white and I love it actually exactly as it is, but like, I'm still gonna do what I was gonna do. So it's all white. Um, if you look close, you can see there's a little bit of dark coming through from the color underneath. I'm not gonna do a second coat once this dries. I think I'm just gonna do the spackling. So now I'm gonna hang out on the couch and I actually have to call the, where's my phone? I have to call the company where I got my wedding dress from because I have to schedule an appointment for my fittings. I have not done that yet. Interestingly enough, I thought I gained a lot of weight um, because over like the summer and like in the fall, I had lost a lot of weight and I got down to like 112, somewhere between 111 and 113 pounds. And I weighed myself this morning and I'm still 113 pounds. Um, so I've been eating and just not gaining weight, which is, I mean, I guess it's okay, but I just thought I had gained more weight. So now I'm gonna have to maintain this weight once my freaking fittings start. Good morning, guys. So it is the next day. I don't even think it's really, no, it's technically still morning. We're about to roll into the afternoon. We uploaded a vlog to go up today because it is Sunday morning. And we are getting ready to head to the BMW dealership. We are still test driving cars so that we can make a decision about which one we are going to bring home with us. So I think in the last vlog, we um, test drove the Volvo and now we are gonna go test drive the BMW and I'm super excited about that. Super excited to get into one and see what it feels like. My sister has had BMWs like almost for all of her cars, but they have been sedans. So I've never been in an SUV. And I always thought I would like well, like like that one a lot, but I think it's gonna be the smaller size than the Volvo. So we're gonna go test drive it, see how I feel about it. I know how I feel about Volvo already. Um, and then I think maybe next weekend we'll go drive the Audi. So that is what we are up to today. After the dealership, I think we're still going to Trader Joe's because my best friend, Anita, is a dietitian and she has some really good Trader Joe's recommendations because I was telling her that I go to Trader Joe's and I get super overwhelmed by all like the YouTube videos and all the recommendations so I like, don't know and she and I have super similar tastes. So she recommended a bunch of things so I'm excited to get there and grab a few items that she has recommended. I and then Mike got something today too for his Instagram for the food thing that I'm gonna be using as well. What is it called, Mike? Uh, duo boards, but the, and the company's name is V Flat World. Yes, so these are duo boards and the company's called V Flat World. Awesome. And so basically like you attach them together and you pretend like you're in a kitchen. So for his Instagram, it's for food and um, alcohol <laughs> cocktails. It, um, he'll put it on here, but then for the cocktail side, you can turn it to like a darker mood, which will be nice. I think it's gonna look really good.
It's nice. It's a nice drive. You're not getting good vibes from it already though, compared to the XC90. Yeah, I like the XC90 a lot. That's good. That's why we're in the, this car is to figure out how everything feels. Um, and I and think I like the interior of the XC90 a lot too. What year did we drive for the XC90? 2018? Yeah, only one year different. I can't believe you like that because I think this interior is like the best interior in cars. Um, yeah, I love the way BMW does their interiors, but it's like, it's a team effort here, right? So I wanted to make sure that we're both, we both like the car, so. I like, I mean, I like the car. No I like bad. it too. I think it's, it's probably expensive for what it is. That's what I'm thinking. Like, especially since we're going to get like a 20, 20, like a brand new Volvo. And so when I saw the inside of that one, the, even the updated one, that's even nicer than the one that we drove. So it's like, I don't know guys, I like I like BMWs a lot, but they are pricey. So if we got a BMW, we're getting a 2017. Or, or we could we could have gotten an 18 also. It's just this one is like the spec'd out version. This one has all the options. Oh, okay. That's so that's why like you could get an 18. We could have gotten an 18 also. Yeah. But I just I just got one that was gonna have because like the differences won't be that crazy. So it's just about getting a car that has good options then. Yeah. The space is nice. It definitely isn't as big as the Volvo. Which is clear. I mean, that, that was always going to be the case. Yeah, so I like the sunroof. I'm leaning, I don't know. I like this though. I do like it. I think the cabin is very nice. I think the cabin is pretty nice too, yeah. But uh, I get what you're saying. I did really enjoy the Volvo. And that's like same year to same year basically, basically too. Yeah. So like that's, which is awesome because, you know, it's not like you're comparing a brand new Volvo to a well, used BMW. We're comparing same age to same age, and we like the Volvo, Volvo better. Volvo better. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. There's That's why we do the test drives. Exactly. Because if before, before this started, we, we had pick, no idea. We, we, I think we would end up with a BMW if we just didn't test drive any. And we if just we didn't test one. drive any, we just picked one. We would have picked the BMW for sure. That's a hundred percent right. Okay, so we are back in our car. We're leaving the BMW dealership and heading to Trader Joe's. Um, miles. Right I'm really excited to have some of the things that Anita told me to try. So I will see you guys at Trader Joe's. So we are in the Trader Joe's line. There's an actual line to get in. So that's really annoying. And yeah, so that's what we're doing right now. So we just got back from Trader Joe's. We're back home. Um, we're gonna put the groceries away, but before we did, I wanted to do a quick little Trader Joe's haul for you guys. I don't shop at Trader Joe's really often. A lot of the things that we got were recommendations from my friend Anita, who's a dietitian. And then some of the things that we got are just things that we usually get at our regular grocery store um, that we saw there and we figured we may as well just pick them up. So this, we got this smoked salmon. I'm obsessed with smoked salmon right now. It's my favorite thing. So I've been getting smoked salmon like weekly and I make it part of my breakfast. Like I do avocado toast with a little smoked salmon on the side and it's really yummy. These raviolis are recommended by my friend Anita. Um, the ricotta and lemon zest ravioli and the cacio e pepe ravioli. This sounds like it's gonna be spicy. Have you had this before, babe? You sounded like you've had it before. No, I've never had it. Pepe is just a very specific it's a type of pasta. I've made that in this house before. I got this. It's spicy scallops with mushrooms. It's kind of like a stew type thing. I'm always cold, like I'm freezing cold right now. And um, I like warm, cozy, bold things. So I also got this mac and cheese bites. I'm probably gonna make it spicy myself, but love that for me. This was another thing Anita recommended. She highly recommended this. This is the roasted garlic and pesto pizza with deep fried crusts. So she was like, get two because when they got two, they wish they gotten four. Um, so that was pretty much a great recommendation, highly recommended. So I got this for myself, like I was just saying, 
my diet's a little different, so this is these are mahi mahi burgers, so that's like tuna, um, which I think will be nice. I'm gonna try to like jazz that up a bit. So this is my favorite thing from Trader Joe's, it's the gnocchi, so I think this is like the gorgonzola, and then, and then I got this, these are, Truffles and actually these were at my sister's house. This was at Lisa's house when I went without you and I was eating them They're so good. This wine that you saw my sweet white But my sweet white doesn't drink this oh. <laughs> I'm gonna do the plaster project and I'm gonna film it But it'll be in the next vlog just because I think this vlog is getting just a little bit long I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Mike, do you wanna come say bye? Sure guys thank you guys so much for yeah. hanging out with us if you haven't already go ahead and hit the subscribe button hit the thumbs up button and let us know that you enjoy the content that we are putting up and we will see you guys in the next video see you in the next vlog bye, bye. <laughs>